Hello guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we looked into how to convert a hexadecimal number into a decimal number. Okay. The algorithm was just this. You have to divide the hexadecimal number by 0 a h, okay, which is equivalent to 10 until your quotient becomes less than 0 a h. And each and every time you divide, you store the remainder and at the end when the quotient becomes less than 0 a h you store the quotient also okay that's how we did the conversion of hexadecimal to bcd now we will see how to convert bcd to hexadecimal i'll brief it out you know the algorithms in that case this is a uh, easy algorithm compared to that you see see whenever we represent some value in decimal let's say it is 2315 okay it's a four digit decimal or bcd number here 2315 we will write it as 5 into 10 power 0 which is 10 power 0 is 1 and 1 into 10 power 1 which is 10 and 3 into 10 power 2 which is 100 and 2 into 10 power 3 which is 1000 this is how we write a decimal number right how to convert it into hexadecimal is our question okay what we have to do if we want to convert this 2315 decimal number into hexadecimal what we have to do is we have to separate each digit in this okay first of all we need to separate you remember this this is the algorithm which we have to do in the code we need to separate each and every digit of this and multiply with its base value actually the base values are these but in hexadecimal 1 is 1 itself, which is 1 h. Okay, you need not to multiply. So, uh, since it is 1, you need not to multiply, multiply for the first digit. Okay, so separate the first digit and multiply it with 1 h. Separate the second digit here and multiply it with 0 a h, which is equivalent of 10 in hexadecimal. Okay, and the third digit is 3. Okay, you have to separate this 3. And then you multiply it with 64H. This 64H is the equivalent of 100. Okay. And the fourth digit, separate the fourth digit. I'm, I'm telling you to separate in the sense you have to move it to this location. I mean the base location. And then you have to multiply it with 3E8H, which is 1000. Okay. Equivalent for 1000 in hexadecimal, 3E8H. 8h and add them um, add them all together if you add them all together you will get the hexadecimal number this is how you convert from bcd to hexadecimal or decimal to hexadecimal that's what i have written separate each digit of the decimal number multiply by its base value 1h 0ah 64h and 3e8h and add all all the multiplied values to get a hexadecimal number let's go and see the code okay in this code you can see there are it looks a little bit long but it's not difficult it's very very easy okay you can understand this because these are all similar you can see and under <laughs> you can make out these are all similar okay you know one step you will do every other step very easily okay i won't look into these things you see my previous re videos for this information just we are creating on variable x db this is creating a variable at 3000 h okay and we are initializing the data segment with, with these two instructions and lesi comma x just to point to the x variable which is 3000 h okay so si the pointer register will be pointing to the 3000 h memory location okay then what we are doing this is the number which we want to convert from bcd to hexadecimal let's say this 9256 even though it is written as h we have to write, uh, write uh, it as h because uh, in this language it will be taken as everything as h okay but assume that this is a <laughs> decimal number and we have to convert this decimal number into hexadecimal number okay how to convert it into hexadecimal number is the question right first what i am doing is this i am just moving this value to bx okay just to make sure that i will keep the origin uh, original value okay because 
when I do some operations, when I take first digit out of it, that's the first operation done here. First digit I'm taking out and storing, storing it in memory location. When I do that, my original value will be lost. That's why I'm storing it in some other register and I'll take back later, okay? See this, this first step, that's what I told in the uh, algorithm. What we have to do, we have to separate each digits and multiply its base value, right? And add them at the end. I have to separate this six first, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm storing this zero F in this location and uh, in CX and then I'm and I'm doing and operation. When I do this and operation, what is zero F in binary? Zero F in binary is zero 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 one 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 one. If you want to see, I'll write it zero 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 and one 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 one. If I multiply, I mean, if I and this with this uh, AX value, AX value is for the time being is. Uh, 9256. 9256 in equivalent is 16 digits. If I add this with this, actually this this will be equivalently created as 0000 and 0000 Okay, so 9, 2, and 5 will be clear to 0, and only you will get 111 multiplied with this 6, which 6 is 0110. Okay, that will be multiplied with this and you will get the first digit 6, okay, and store it in the memory location. That's what we are doing here. Store it in memory location 3000H. In SI, we are storing this value. For the second step, it is a little bit dif uh, different. First, we stored it. Then, we go on adding it, right? See, add, add, add. This, I will tell you why it is two times written, okay? Then, we are adding it. That's it, okay? Uh -huh. For the second time, you see, bx value is restored, uh, the value of ax is restored. It was lost actually. Once I did all these operations, value, original value, which we had to convert into, into hexadecimal will be lost. That's why we are restoring the value of ax, which is the value which I have to convert it into hexadecimal. That, that's restored here. And then again, multiply with 0f0. Why 0 first, you, you know that, because uh, f0, if we write, it cannot take it as a number. So that's why 0F0, we have to uh, store and multiply with the AX. Then second number will be stored, okay? You know how it works because I uh, told how it works here. It will be 0F is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, so when we do this operation, this AND AX, comma CX, what value we get is not exactly 0, 0, 0, 5. It is 50050 zero, 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 we will get okay this is the value we will get actually but what we want is we want 5 as a separate value we want it as 0005 zero, 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 then only we can multiply by its base value how to do that i am shifting this C, this ax by the cl value cl is 04 this cx will be is getting this 04 so cl value will be 04 i am shifting the ax value by four times what it will do let's see what it will do okay the zero 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 five zero sorry zero zero five zero can be equivalently written as i'll write only five zero right five zero is zero zero sorry zero one zero one this is the five and zero will be taken as four digits right if i shift this eight times Okay, sorry, if, if I shift this four times, if I shift this four times to the right, then I'll get zero, one here, I'll get one, right? You shift it and you, you will come to know what it will do. I can't do everything here, okay? It will be zero and it will be zero again. If I shift it four times, this right, uh, right to the right, it will be this, okay? This is nothing but zero and five. That's what I'll get, zero, five, I'll get when I shift it by four times okay then what i do i have to multiply with its base value what is its base value it's zero ah multiply cx i'll get the base value then add it to the memory location value whatever i stored uh, actually uh, initially i stored six and add it to add uh, this value uh, five multiplied by zero ah and add it to this six that that you will you will get some 38h okay in hexadecimal Okay, after that, 
for the third step it's a little bit uh, different not much okay again you have to restore the value and again you multiply it with 0 f 0 0 it was 0 f 0 here it is 0 f 0 0 to get 200 the actually if you see this uh, 9250 you will get 200 because this one 200 you, uh, you will get see 200 but w what we want is 0 2 right you have to shift it eight times you will come to uh, you knew I guess how uh, it worked so you understood I guess you have it worked because th this time we I shifted in the previous time I shifted it by four times and I got the value in the base now this time I am shifting it by eight times to get the original value okay that's it then again when I shift it uh, I'll get the value and then I have to multiply by its base value base value 64h y, y 64h I told it is 100 equivalent to the decimal so multiply with that value and then this CLC is written to clear the carry if there is any carry due to due to this multiplication of a operation that I have to clear okay because the, uh, I'm gonna deal with carry also this time that's why I have to clear this carry and this carry is neg uh, it sh this carry should be neglected if it is due to multiplication operation because add si comma al we should always we have to do al okay remember first step is to add si uh, sorry uh, al with the si not si plus one even though it exceeds okay we have to add it with si okay but in this case if you see this if you add 3 8 h and uh, uh, this uh, value which is nothing but 2 into 64 h plus 38 will give you 100 actually right 100 is what 100 zero zero. so it will generate a carry it will generate a carry so whatever stored in si will be 0 0 0 0 will be stored in SI and 1 will not be stored in SI plus 1 did you tell 1 to store in SI plus 1 the carry flag will become 1 but it will not be stored anywhere okay it will just show the, the it will be just represented in carry flag so what we want to do we want 100 to be stored not 0 0 so we will add that carry also this add ADC is add with carry right this carry also will be stored in a h when it is stored in a h it will become uh, a h a h and a l together will be 100 h that's the equivalent okay and finally in final step also very similar again restore the value and get the fourth digit actually it is 9000 but we want 0009 in our uh, uh, case so you will get when you multiply it I mean when you shift it by 0 CH which is 12 okay we have to shift it by 12 one for first time we shift it by four times sorry the second time we shift it by four times third time we shift it by eight times fourth time we have to shift it by 12 times then you will get the this value 9 okay so that's it and sh once we shift again we have to multiply with its base value which is 3E8H which is equivalent to 1000 and then again clear the uh, carry if there is a carry due to this multiplication and then add it with SI and if there is a carry add it to AH this will give us the entire hexadecimal number if you want to look into the code I will if you want to execute then I'll execute it here. Debug. Cd. Dot. Exe. Sorry. The number was actually 9256. Finally, it will be altered by some operation, but uh, the actual number is stored here 9256. The result will be stored in SI, uh, the, uh, the 3000 H memory location, DDS colon 3000. Okay. The number is 2428. Okay. The higher digits 
two digits are 24 and the lower two digits are 28. This is the equivalent hexadecimal number for 9256. Okay, thank you.